Hi everyone, this is Dave, and in today's video I'm very excited to share my opinion with you about the Dell XPS 13 2-in-1 Ultrabook. A big thank you must go out to Dell for making this possible. This particular version is the Intel Core i7 7Y75 CPU, running at 1.3 GHz, turbo boost up to 1.6 GHz, we've got 8 GB of RAM, and a 256 GB solid state drive. After all of the OS is installed and the pre-installed software, we we're left with round about 226 gigabytes of internal storage. Now this really is the ultimate two-in-one Ultrabook. It does normal laptop mode, it does presentation mode, it does tent mode, it lies completely flat on a desk, which I'm not sure quite what you'd use that for. And also probably my favorite use during my testing period is in fact tablet mode. So let's take a look around the ports on the XPS 13 2-in-1. On this side here, we have got the main power on-off button. Dell have still managed to fit in a memory card slot, albeit a micro SD card slot. We've got a USB-C and also Kensington lock. Around on the opposing side, we have got another USB-C headphone port and also this little tiny button here. When we push this in, we get some LED light indicators to show us the remaining battery. We've also got speakers on both sides and the speakers actually perform very well indeed. So let's have a look at exactly how easy this is to manipulate into the different sort of formats and use case scenarios. Obviously here we've got regular sort of laptop mode. We've got a really nice trackpad. In fact, when it comes to Windows based PCs, this is one of the nicest trackpads for both size and responsiveness. We've got multi-touch gestures on here as well, so it makes it easy to navigate around things. And particularly for web browsing, very, very easy to navigate websites. Now we've got the normal sort of tiled feature here on Windows 10. When we go round into tablet mode, then it makes more sense to have the touch capability, but the screen is in fact touch sensitive even in laptop mode. So you can reach up and touch various icons and scroll around. Now to actually convert this into sort of lay flat mode, we simply push the screen back down like so. Very, very easy. And if we want to go round into uh, tent mode, we can simply do this. And then we've got a nice sort of mode for actually watching back videos if you've got this on your lap. Or indeed you can use it in what we call presentation mode and the screen rotates round automatically. This is really nice as well for if you're putting this on your lap. In fact, the keyboard becomes inactive in this mode. And then we can push this fully flat down into tablet mode. And this is where I've sort of enjoyed it the most. In fact, I've been playing Asphalt 8, uh, which is a really great racing game. And in this tablet mode, this works extremely well indeed. We've definitely got enough power to actually play this without any sort of noticeable lag. Let's just start one of these going. So here we go, we're now playing the game. Great graphics. We've of course got full touchscreen control as well. And we can actually tilt the device to play the game. I think it's just fantastic. It certainly does give you that sort of tablet and casual gaming experience, but on something that you can then stop the game and convert back round into a fully functional and very, very useful laptop. Let's talk a little bit about build quality. We've got this sort of carbon fibre finish to the inside of the keyboard, chiclet style keys, uh, very reminiscent of what I'm used to using on my MacBook Pro. We've also got this really nice edge to edge display. It's one of the best displays I've seen on a laptop for a long time. One of the things I don't particularly like is the position of the web camera, but then it would be very difficult to get it up to the top of the screen purely to keep those thin bezels in place. We've also got a fingerprint reader, which makes it easy to actually log into the computer. If we close this down, we've got a sort of a metal enclosure. So this is full metal on the top, and indeed it's full metal on the bottom as well. And they'll do this really nice thing with the XPS range, is they hide away all the details, like the label underneath this magnetic flap. So that's a really nice touch. It keeps things looking nice and clean, and nice and sleek looking. So overall, my experience with the Dell XPS 13 has been very, very good indeed. I think it's a great little computer, uh, plenty powerful enough for day-to-day -day use, and more than enough power for the occasional game. And we've got it all in this really 
ultra portable, lightweight, well-constructed package. I think Dell have really hit a home run with the Dell XPS range. We had the XPS 13 in previous years and of course the larger XPS 15 and this new XPS 13 2 in 1 really just takes things one step further. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, please do hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the Geek Noise channel. I publish a new tech video pretty much every single day. Check out the links down below to where you can pick up one of these for yourself. And I'll see you in another video very soon.